Alright guys, today I have a video for you that uh, I've had many people ask for and uh, we're going to go ahead and just show it to you. So what I've got right here, this is my Verizon and Galaxy S4 and let me just go into settings and show you what uh, build number we're on because it's very important. So again, this is the Verizon S4 which is the SCH-I545. But the important thing on any of these devices is the build number and right here, well that's baseband, but right here it's build number. So it's really important that you know that, that information so that you know how to do these next steps. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to install a ROM on this device. We're going to install Hyperdrive because it is an awesome ROM. The qualifications on this are going to be you're going to need to have root access on your device and you're going to need to have SafeStrap installed. So right there I have super sued that, that's what gives me root access along with you know an exploit and all that kind of stuff. If you don't have that or have this safe strap installed, watch my two videos on that for this build and they'll really get you up to speed on how to do this. I'll link them in the video description. Besides that, what you're gonna need to do is download a couple files. So let me just show you what I'm looking for here. This is the what you want right here. This is the ROM and then since you're on uh, and, and what I'm on here is the MI1. We need to have the Verizon Galaxy S4 MI1 module zip, which is right there. I have the other versions as well. So basically what we're going to do here is go ahead back out. So those are the files you're going to need. Make sure you know where they're at on your SD card or internal storage, whichever you prefer. So go ahead and download those before you really start into this process. So what I'm going to do is that we're running stock ROM right here. I'm just going to do, because this is the easiest way to do it, go into safe strap. You've already got it installed, it's already enabled. Like I said, if you don't know how to get to this part, watch those other videos. Uh, we're just going to go Reboot Recovery, and this will reboot us into SafeStrap Recovery. Um, it's pretty, pretty simple. You can also get into SafeStrap just by powering off and powering back on and then hitting a menu button on the splash screen. But this gets you right in there on, without even having to really mess with anything, so it's an easy way to do it. Alright, so um, SafeStrap here is booting up. There it is. A uh, couple things you want to note is good battery life up there on top, that's also very important. Um, and right now you're on stock ROM which is highlighted in red up there on the top as well. So what we're going to do from here is go ahead and we need to go into this right here and this is boot menu. Now it says to create a ROM slot automatically, it should look like this, it actually jumped the screen there on me. So we're going to go to um, ROM slot 1 and then you want to create the size of it so pretty much what's here automatically you can probably leave you might want to increase your data size but be leery of this number right down here selected space and then free space this uses internal storage so we're about to use six gigs of internal storage on this ROM right here if you were installing a smaller ROM you could create these spaces smaller and not use up so much space but just be aware that you're going to be using up six gigs of your internal storage on this thing. It leaves me with about two and a half gigs of free space. So once you've picked your um, sizes of your partitions, you can leave cache partition alone probably. Um, system partition, I'd make smaller if I was installing something like a SideGen mod or something like that because normally it's a lot smaller system partition or system size. But data, you want to be up there around that three gigs so or 2,900 megabytes. So right here, we're just going to go ahead and create slot. And this process is going to take us uh, up to 10 minutes, probably more like 5. So we're going to let this run and we'll come back to it when it finishes. Okay, I just want to point out to you guys right here that we uh, wrote our system image, we wrote our data image, and we wrote our cache image, which are those three things you set up there in those options. So you can see when it's done here, it reboots to the screen. Now what I like to do is come in here and set nickname. And we're just going to call this one Hyper. Come on. There we go and hit go and go back out of that. And now you can see that ROM slide is called a hyper. So you know what ROM you have installed there. You can install ROMs on all these slots if you have space on your internal storage. That's the key. And like you like I just showed you, I use six gigs just to create that one. So just be aware of that. Um, so right here it says ROM slot one is activated. That's really important. If you click over to this one and hit activate, 
now you're in stock ROM and it's red. So you don't want to do anything to stock ROM. It's you, you want to leave it alone. Never really touch it. Whenever you do anything, you want to come in here and create this ROM slot and activate it and make sure you're on ROM slot 1, 2, 3, or 4, whatever it is. Uh, so from here we can go back. Now anything we do in the recovery system gets applied to that ROM slot. So we don't have to do any wipes because it's a fresh ROM slot. If you were rewriting something over the top of it, you'd go ahead and do you know wipe cache, wipe Dalvik, all that kind of stuff. So all we got to do is come in here, find where you have your ROM. Right here's where I got mine. This hyperdrive uh, RSL or RLS10 for the S4. Click on it. Go ahead and slide across to install. Now you can see this is the last stuff that was already done recently, right here. Um, that's kind of like a running information bar there. And as it goes to this next screen, it's going to continue on. Hyperdrive here, you can see it actually uses what's called Aroma Installer, which is a really sweet uh, installer application that just walks you right through the install. So we're going to hit next here. Say so you agree to this. Hit next. Hit next. Oops. Agree. Next. And then. You must wipe data, Delvic, blah, 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 and hit next. Okay, so you want to do run, uh, install, and then I, you can wipe factory set. It'll actually do it right here for you. Um, but since this is a new install, we can just do the wipe cache and Delvic. Next. And then it says a Verizon Galaxy S4 or others, and you want the Verizon one, so we're going to select that. Then this is options where you can select launchers. I'm going to just go with what's stock right now. Uh, group play, you can select all your applications you might want on there. Just go next. Um, pick through some different other things you want on there or not. Your launchers, your email providers, your boot animations, a whole bunch of other cool things you can pick from here. I'm going to go ahead and next. Same thing, more. I'm going to go extended power menu because I like that feature right there. Hit next. ES file manager is my preferred file manager, so I'll use that one. Hit next. Again, go through some settings. I like what's here already selected. Next there. I'm not going to add any sound stuff, but we'll go next on that one. I am going to add Adobe. And, um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Hit next. Uh, stock or hyperdrive theme. I'm going to go with stock. And then lastly, this is really important right here, that under safe strap, because we're using safe strap, we want to use the safe strap kernel. Make sure you guys select that and hit next. And then next again, and it's going to do the install process. And here you go, it's going to go through this whole process. This is going to take about mm, two to four minutes to run through. So when it's done, we'll come back to it. Okay, you guys can see that we're going ahead and we pretty much got our system installed. And when I was installing all those options you picked um, as you went through this Aroma installer and all of those features that you picked that you wanted on your ROM, are being installed. That's the beauty of a ROM installer. It's kind of like you get to kind of almost customize your own ROM, which is just really, really slick. Okay, so that's all done. What we're going to do here is go to next. Now, this is the next part that's really, really important here that you guys pay close, close attention to. It tries to reboot your device right here. You don't want to do that because, like I was telling you about those modules, we need to install the MI1 modules because that's what our stock system is or else things will not quite function correctly like Wi-Fi. So this is the trick. See those three little dots right there in the bottom? You're going to hit those three little dots, not the reboot. Just be careful where you touch. And right here it says quit installation. And then you're going to say yes. And you're going to go back to safe strap. This is where you want to be. So from here we're just going to go back. I like to go back twice. Go to installs. Pick your MI1 module zip right there make sure it's listed and swipe across now you have a full complete install of hyperdrive on the galaxy s4 with mi1 build so let's go ahead and reboot system we should see uh, this thing start up there's your samsung galaxy s4 logo we're gonna see our boot animation here in a second which i think is uh, new from what I selected. There was some different choices you could use. You can also see that safe strap now is enabled and is in green. That means you're booting that ROM slot 1 or any ROM slot besides stock, obviously. That's that green designation. Um, and here's going to be our boot animation. Okay, so we A little like flaming stuff flying around. I don't know. Looks pretty cool though. 
So that, that's pretty much our boot animation there. I'm going to let this boot. It could take up to 10 minutes to boot. Uh, be patient with it. Uh, give it some time. We'll come back to it when it's done. Okay, so I actually have booted up here, and that was not even close to 5 to 10 minutes. It was about 2. That was very, very simple. So let's go ahead and go through the startup process. I'm going to point this out, and it says uh, insert SIM. I don't have a SIM card in here. That's why it's skipping. I'm skipping this part. Um, it does get signal, though, so that's not a big deal. I'm going to go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi here. A uh, thing to point out is that you do have numbers on the top of your keyboard, which is really kind of cool. Okay, so we're connected. I'm just going to skip through the setup process here so we can show you guys the ROM. And here we go. Okay, so first thing I'd like to point out to you guys that I thought was kind of interesting on this ROM is uh, right up here, your signal strength is being recorded right there all the time in the top. You can turn this on and off but uh, it is up there which I thought was just a little interesting. I'm also just going to show you really quick that uh, your Wi-Fi is actually functioning here and you should be able to tell with uh, doing some searches here. Go to my website real quick and you can see that it is quite quite fast and uh, fully functional there as well. Um, so. Like I said, Wi-Fi is functioning. Your signal will function if you have a SIM card in there. That's all going to work for you uh, just fine right out of the box. Um, if you go in your app drawer, you can go through and see all of the, uh, basically everything you picked. You do have root access right there with SuperSU. And all of the applications you picked, like my uh, ES file browser over there on the side. Um, all that, all those goodies is all in here. The coolest thing about HyperDrive really is the HyperDrive tweaks, which can be accessed from the application or can be accessed from settings under my device hyperdrive tweaks and hyperdrive hub hyperdrive hub is for taking like updates it does basically you can do hyperdrive OTA updates through this which is just like crazy cool um, let me just do something for you guys really quick so we can get a little bit better so there we go uh, so anyway there's what you got right there um, obviously this does look fairly stock um, has the uh, very much the Note 3 look to it actually, um, which I think is kind of cool looking. Um, all this stuff is fully functional on here as much as I've played with it. Let me just go ahead and show you guys some of the hyperdrive tweaks and show you what you can do. So this does have exposed framework stuff built right into um, hyperdrive and you can do all the fun toggles, notifications, theming and all that stuff that exposed does. If you've seen my last video, I just did a video on exposed. So I'll link that in the video description so you guys can see that too. Um, audio, lock screen, interface stuff right here. And so like right here, I'll just show you, this is where you can turn on and off that uh, speed thing right here on the top if you don't like it, your network signal stuff. Um, so you can do that right there. And that's system, you got system stuff here. You can do a bunch of different little tricks and cool settings in here like CRT animations controls for when your screen turns on and off, how it animates that, um, all that, all those kind of goodies on here as well. So, um, yeah, there you go. That's, uh, that's pretty much the uh, ROM. That's how you install it. I would highly recommend this ROM, especially if you're all right with TouchWiz and you like it. I don't have any problems really with TouchWiz, but an excellent ROM, great developer that does this and maintains this thing for you guys. Uh, does excellent excellent work so there you go that's uh, pretty much what we got here that's my install of hyperdrive ROM on the Galaxy S4 MI1 build hope you guys like this hope it was informative for you um, as always hey check me out at uh, rootjunkie.com you can see that right there you can see me on Facebook or Twitter over there on the other side and that's pretty much it Root Junkie out